Hey guys, it's Archon, and welcome to what just might be the most exciting Inferno Friday we've had yet. A few days ago, Blizzard uploaded a build of Reaper of Souls to Diablo 3 expansion to the public test realm. There's this blue post talking about it from Lilira. They've been testing out some features on Reaper of Souls, and they wanted to use the PTR functionality, so they put it on there. But of course, the public test realm is public and Diablo fans as it's known to do got a hold of the build and has been data mining it for the last day and a half this is where they go through all the files on a particular build or game or anything they might put up on the servers and find a bunch of strings that give us hints to what might be coming in this case in Reaper of Souls so now we have a ton of information about the upcoming expansion. Now keep in mind, all this information is subject to change. This is just a build of Reaper of Souls that they're playing around with. So any of these features could be removed or changed. None of this is set in stone, but we kind of have a little window into what they're working with and the state of Reaper of Souls as it's in right now. Now also there are some spoilers in here, as it says on the Diablo fans page. So if you care a lot about lore or bosses, you don't want to find out about that stuff, um, then this video might not be for you. But if you go to the Diablo fans page, there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, they show you very clearly where the spoilers are. It's a little bit easier to, uh, to avoid them. Now if you want to, you can read through all of this information. There's a ton of it, which is why it's so exciting. Uh, but I'll try to kind of highlight the things that I found most exciting since I've already gone through all of it. So the first thing they talk about here, guilds, clans, ladders, and seasons. Diablo fans found some strings that imply that there might be guilds and ladders coming in Reaper of Souls. And you might be asking yourself, why are they in the same section? What do they have to do with each other? Well, it looks like there might be clan ladders. They have best ladder rank, best ladder paragon level, a lot of strings here. Now again, this is just on the PTR. They might scrap this, but it looks like their current build does include both guilds and ladders. Now, we knew that ladders might be coming. Grimaku asked, I think about a month ago, what we thought about ladders and how they should be added. And so that kind of implies that they're thinking about putting ladders into the game. And it looks like they're already in the test build, as you can see here. So that's really exciting. Uh, if you guys don't know, ladders would just be a periodic reset on the game, uh, probably on a separate server. So you wouldn't have to play ladder if you didn't want to. But if you want to play ladder, it's just a little bit more competitive. You can try to gear up or level up faster than everyone else. And then there's resets, so the economy stays fresh and you have something to work for all the time. Really cool idea. Uh, clans could also be really cool. I'm sure we'd make a clan on the stream channel uh, with anyone who wants to join could be a lot of fun and they have a lot of just different features here you can read through those if you want to the next thing they show here are new bosses and monster models now I'm gonna show you some of these if you don't want to see the new bosses then uh, don't look uh, but they have boss Adria and boss Urzael uh, I'm sorry if I don't pronounce those right I'm really bad at following lore on any of the games I play but you can see on here, uh, they have pictures of uh, some crossbows here, of whatever this is. Maybe that's something you fight, maybe that's a spell. Uh, this portal guardian here has to do with loot runs. This is something you have to kill at the end of loot runs, as we find in some strings later on in the post. We have Angel Trooper, I guess a new monster, a rock worm, uh, armor scavenger, just new units look pretty cool. Wither Moth, uh, I'm assuming you fight all of these. Blog Blight, a Wraith. Really cool looking monsters. Uh, here's Wicker Man. And then um, if you click right here, you can see Adria, new boss, and uh, Urzael, new boss. And I wish I knew the lore behind them, but again, I follow like no lore. Sorry, guys. I know a lot of people hate me for that. Anyways, let's go back. More, more exciting news on Diablo fans awaits us. Crusader abilities. There's a little video here you can watch if you want to. It just demonstrates some of the uh, Crusader abilities um, animations. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. After that, here, let me show you a little bit of this. Here we go. Yeah, abilities. We've seen some of these in the in the videos we got from Gamescom, but it's still kind of exciting. After that, they show some of the Crusader's abilities, of course, all subject to change, but they have some passives here. Some of them we've already seen. Some of them are new. And then Sweep Attack, Law of Justice. They have a lot of these uh, spells that have an active ability and then a passive ability on the Crusader, and that seemed 
pretty cool. Just uh, kind of like monk mantras, I guess. Something that happens when you use it, and then something that's always going on. Um, but some really cool things. Steed charge here. You were picked up by a magical steed, allowing you to ride through enemies without being noticed or blocked for three seconds. It sounds kind of like spirit walk. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool things here if you want to read through that. But I can't go through all of it because there's so much of it. This video would be super long. Um, this was really cool. Challenge strings. Now, they didn't say this was Nephilim Trials, but it sounds like it's... Nephilim Trials. They have uh, five different type of challenges here, which again, I'm just assuming are Nephilim Trials. It'd be cool if they weren't. It'd be cool if it was another thing too. But these trials sound really cool. So they have Wave Trial, which is destroy each enemy wave as quickly as possible. A uh, Horde Trial, slay an unending horde of monsters. Kill monsters before timer ends to earn bonus experience. Sounds really cool. This one I thought sounded the coolest. Collapsing Dungeon. Loot Nephilim Relics to delay the dungeon collapse and earn time bonuses. That sounds super cool. You're just in a dungeon that's collapsing and as you pick up relics, it delays the collapse. That sounds like really intense and a lot of fun. Uh, Berserker Trial. Slay monsters before they become enraged. Killing marked monsters before they enrage grants bonuses. Sounds really cool. And Goblin Hunt. Find the treasure goblins before they all escape. So these, if these are the Nephilim Trials for the same thing, I think the idea is when you're farming out in the world, you might stumble upon one one of these trials and then you can go into it and as you can see here there's a string that says another player who started this trial do you wish to join so I guess anyone could just go into the trial and then if you're in a party with someone they'll have the option to join you and then there's another string that implied that you'd be able to do it over and over again until you got the score you want and the better score you get the more loot you get the more resplendent chests and experience and goodies so that sounds really cool and then they have a whole section on game modes and there's a ton of strings here so I'll just cover some of them it looks like they're going to have a story mode and an adventure mode. It explains that adventure mode is locked until you've completed story mode on any hero. Now, most people are guessing that adventure mode is just like story mode, except for it's not linear. You can travel between acts, you can go wherever you want, and it seems like that also enables uh, loot runs, bounties, and devil's hand. Now, we haven't heard much about bounties, and devil's hand is completely new, but we have a lot of information about it in the post. Below Below that we have some strings that imply that the world is reset anytime someone starts a bounty, a loot run, or a devil's hand. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but they all say the world's about to be reset after someone starts one of them. Right before that there's a difficulty selector. They have between 0 and 5 on here. I don't know if these are replacing monster power or if it's an addition to monster power, but you can see at uh, difficulty selector 0, this difficulty enemies are weaker and have less health. Uh, difficulty selector 1, this is the baseline Diablo 3 experience, and then it just gets they get harder, and there's also an increase in experience and item drops as it goes up, just like monster power, but again, there's only six of them. I'm not exactly sure what um, that's going to be, if it's going to replace monster power or not. They have some more information about loot runs here. You can see uh, there's objectives like kill 500 enemies, kill the loot run guardian. Now, we've heard a lot about loot runs. We know that already that these loot runs are randomized dungeons that take about 15 minutes to complete. They have all the tile sets in the game. They're completely randomized, so every time you do it, it's a new looking, it's a new feel of the dungeon, it's a new layout, new monsters, and they have a random boss at the end of every run. But we got a little bit more information here with the kind of objectives they might have. It looks like you're going until you fill a bar up. Let's see, where does it say? Kill enemies to fill this bar. When it is full, a portal will open to the loot run guardian. And then you have to go kill the loot run guardian. But there's also a list of bosses uh, a little bit below this right here. Uh, loot run bosses. Now it looks like there's a ton of them, but a lot of these appear to be duplicates. You can see if we just highlight the word skeleton, a lot of these are the Skeleton King. The Crypt of the Skeleton King, Crypt of the Skeleton King, Defeat the Skeleton Monarch, uh, Crypt of the Skeleton King. So it seems like they're the same bosses, but maybe in different encounters. Like here we have Boss Spider, uh, Little Belial, um, kind of hard to interpret what this means, but it seems like they've taken a lot of the bosses and events in the game and turned them into boss fights. Uh, it seems like we have a, a few different versions of some of the bosses, kind of like uh, the Uber runs or different versions of those bosses. So it's hard to say how many bosses we're actually going to have, but it looks like 
there's a good variety. And again, these randomly generate at the end of loot runs. Uh, also, bounties, we hadn't heard much about these. What it sounds like is you can go pick up a bounty from someone in town, and it's a bounty to kill someone or a group of people. You go out, you do it, and you come back. You can only have one bounty at once. We didn't get a lot of information on that, uh, but it's part of the adventure mode, as well as uh, the Devil's Hand, also part of the adventure mode. The Devil's Hand uh, seems like it might be kind of like archaeology in World of Warcraft uh, with a little bit of a twist. Uh, it says, whenever you deliver a set of artifacts, uh, we will deal you in. It's hard to say what that is. Maybe some kind of gambling system. Who knows? Uh, but it looks like you're out in the world looking for artifacts and you turn them in uh, to a group of people. And, uh, and then you get, it's a game of cards, they say, where there are winners and corpses. So we don't know too much about it. You can kind of uh, take some guesses if you want to read through it. Uh, but it looks like there's going to be a lot of different game modes. And adventure mode should be a lot of fun. The next part of Diablo Fans Post I think is probably the most exciting part of the entire post. It's a list of passive affixes that look like they're for the new legendary items, the new game-changing legendary items. They're all attached to rings right here, but it looks like it's just for testing purposes. Keep in mind, they're just testing all of this, so you're not going to see all this in the game. A lot of it's going to be taken out and replaced with other things and changed around, but still very exciting to see this list. Now, we've gotten a few of the legendary affixes already, like the one that makes it so that when you summon, when you kill something, there's a chance to summon a Hydra. We've only gotten a handful of them, and I've been kind of worried that they were having trouble coming up with a ton of game-changing legendaries or legendaries that would enable new builds, but it looks like they have had no problem at all coming up with ideas. This list is crazy long. I haven't actually counted it, but it looks like there's close to 100 different affixes, maybe, maybe 60. I don't know. Count it. Count it. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, a ton of affixes, and some of them are really exciting. So I'll just go through some of them and tell you some of them that I found really cool. Uh, your chill effects have a 50% chance to freeze instead of slow. That would be crazy. Uh, it would enable a lot of builds for sure. Um, let's see. You may have one extra Hydra active at a time. We've heard about that one before. Enable all runes for a specific skill. It looks like they're still working on that one. I think it would say what skill it is. I doubt it will just let you choose the skill, but that'd be crazy if you could use all the runes for a certain skill. Uh, this this treasure goblin one we've heard of before. Uh, this one is for a follower. Gain access to all the follower skills. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, Vault now costs 8 hatred instead of discipline. That could be cool. They have, uh, for each element, prevent 100% of that type of damage and heal yourself for the amount of prevented. So that's kind of cool. Uh, arcane damage would be great against arcane enchant um, this one probably my favorite chance to chance on hit to summon a herd of murderous cows you can summon the cow level to fight for you that's pretty crazy uh, shrine effects last until death you guys have to read through this list if you don't read anything else read through this list because all these affixes are super exciting and I don't have the time to go through all of them uh, but there's a ton of really cool ones in here and it looks like they're trying to make some new builds uh, they are taking out some of the OP builds it seems like they're getting rid of permanent Wrath of Berserker permanent Archon I think they might get rid of CM but they're adding a ton of builds here or at least potentially um, if you look right Right here, there's an affix. Health globes picked up on release. Uh, uh, picked up release an explosion for 100% weapon damage to enemies within 40 yards. Imagine comboing that with this affix here. Enemies you kill have a 100% chance to drop a health globe. If you had a legendary with each of those passives, then every time you killed a monster, it would drop a health globe. You'd pick the health globe up, globe up and it would release an explosion for 100% weapon damage to all enemies within. 40 yards. Every time you kill the monster, 100% weapon damage to all the other monsters around. It'd be a crazy build. You'd just be doing explosions like crazy. And as you read through this list of passives, you can see very easily a lot of new builds that could come out of some of these items. And I'm sure after hundreds of hours of gameplay, a lot of theory crafters are going to come up with a lot of builds that we can't even see right now with the new skills that are coming out. This could be really cool. If they do this right, if they test it and they get it really polished, then this really could enable handfuls, dozens of new builds that all feel really OP, but that you have to work for, that you actually have to go out and find the legendary to enable the build, and I love that idea. So I thought this was super exciting. Please read through it. It's very exciting, and there's a link 
in the description. If you're reading through all this information and you're still not ridiculously excited about Reaper of Souls, then please just check your pulse. That's the stuff that I found most exciting about the post, but there's still a ton of information I didn't cover. It's just a little less exciting or we've already heard about it. Uh, you can see here Paragon bonuses. They list out all the bonuses they have currently for Paragon. Uh, we've seen pretty much all of this already though, but you might want to look through it anyway. Also enchanting. There's a bunch of strings about enchanting. It looks like there's going to be enchanting but also reforging in addition to the transmogrification we hadn't heard anything about reforging who knows if that's going to stay in there um, but yeah a lot of stuff if you really want to you can go through uh, look through all of it some of it's hard to interpret and some of it we've already heard before so i just wanted to share with you the most exciting stuff but a lot of stuff there's some images i'm not going to scroll down too much because there's some spoilers there i don't want to give you a uh, really cool looking flails really Check out the post if you're more interested, but I think I've hit on the really exciting stuff. Before I end the video, let's do our weekly 50 million gold giveaway. Each week, I pick one random comment below the video, and that person wins 50 million gold on EU or US. Last week's winner was Bernie. Congratulations, Bernie. You won 50 million gold. If you win on the channel, all you have to do is come on over to twitch.tv. There's a link in the description. Let me know through chat or more likely through a message because sometimes I don't see chat that you won the 50 mil. I'll have you prove it to you on YouTube and then I'll get you the 50 mil as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and I'll have another one for you soon.